So the upcoming San Andreas Mercenaries DLC is about two days away from the time recording this video. And I wanted to get this video out before the DLC is released. So I can show you guys how to make some money before the DLC is released. So you guys can have enough money to buy what you want to buy with the DLC on day one and not feel left out. So let's just go ahead and jump right into the video. Now, first on my list, I would have to say is to do your auto shop contracts. Now, auto shop contracts are really fun to do. They have a lot of replay value and they pay out decent amount of money for the time you spend doing them. You make on average $170,000. And if you get the unit depository contract, you get $300,000 every 20 minutes, I wanna say, doing the two setups in the finale. And I've done these quite a few times. I participate in adult money and I've done, I believe over 30 of these contracts since the these uh, contracts were released into the game. And I made a little over $9 million by doing, I believe, over 30 contracts. So I do recommend doing these to make some money. Like I said, it's $170,000 on average every 20 minutes. And again, if you get the Union Depository on your board, that's $300,000 every 20 minutes. And these, these missions are really, really easy. And yeah, I do recommend doing these for your money grind for the DLC. So go ahead and get those knocked out. Up next on the list, I would recommend uh, selling your excess uh, goods. If you, don't know, if you don't know what this is, if you have a bunker or if you have a uh, cargo warehouse, you get the option at your office and at your bunker to sell excess goods. So for example, I see here in the footage right here, I'm about to sell some excess goods for my warehouse and it's only $50,000, but this does refresh every 15 minutes both your warehouse and your bunker they both pay out fifty thousand dollars and the missions are super straightforward you just get into the uh the sale vehicle and you drive to the destination you drop it off get an easy fifty thousand dollars and what really works for me is that with the cargo warehouse excess goods is that my warehouse is right next to the docks so it's not even a mile long drive for me so i get like fifty thousand dollars in the span of like two minutes is doing this one mission and again, it refreshes every 15 minutes. So keep that in mind when you're doing your heists and your businesses and your contracts. I do recommend doing these for your money grind. Up next on the list, I would say to check your passive income businesses, that being your MC businesses, your bunker and your nightclub. The reason why I say that is because your nightclub produces no matter what unless you shut down all the businesses. And with the bunker and the MC businesses, the reason why I say to check on those is because even if you're not buying supplies or doing resupply missions, you could still get supplies by doing the stash house missions. Because when you do the stash house missions, the stash house missions add supplies to your businesses. So for example, if I were to do a stash house right now, I get $20,000 from the stash house. I'll also end up getting supplies for one of my businesses. Be sure to check out your passive income businesses, your MC businesses, or your bunker to make sure you have any product left over and if you do go ahead and sell it in an in in invite only lobby now right here i sold my cocaine business and i had about two hundred thousand dollars in stock unfortunately i did get the pulse op ban everybody knows this is the pain in the ass but thankfully it was only two because it was half stock the half stock meaning it's like only two vehicles the only time you're going to get four vehicles in a sale mission is when you're at full stock but i, I was only at half stock so it's not really a big deal and again I'm an invite only, so I'm not really stressing about my product being destroyed. So I just went ahead and did this mission. I made a, a quick $200,000 in the span of half an hour. Granted, it would have been a lot faster. This is a worst case scenario on missions. Everybody knows that pulse out missions are really bad for MC businesses. But if you were to get something like the bikes or the helicopters or the planes or the boats, you can make a quick $200,000 in the span of 10 to 15 minutes, maybe, if your businesses are not filled up, by the way. If you're buying supplies, I recommend just buying supplies until your business is filled up all the way. But if you just get your supplies from stash houses, you may as well just sell it because you did get these supplies for free. So you may as well just sell the product. Even if it's at half stock, I don't think it really matters because like I said, you didn't buy the supplies. You just pretty much stole them from the stash house missions. So yeah, be sure to check out your passive income businesses. Like I said, your MC businesses, your bunker, your nightclub. Up next on the list, I would have to say to sell your asset lab. Now, the reason why I didn't include this with the passive income is because I think you should sell your acid lab at least once a day when you play GTA Online. It takes about two hours for your supplies to fill up all the way. The supplies are super cheap. It's only $60,000 and you only got to buy it twice every hour and a half, I want to say. So this business does uh, fill up really fast compared to the other businesses. And also it, it's you sell about $300,000. And if you're in a full public lobby, you can sell your business for about $500,000 with a high demand bonus. And I believe the Acid Lab is the only passive income business worth doing besides Nightclub when it's not double money. So yeah, just be sure to sell your Acid Lab. And if you don't have an Acid Lab, 
go ahead and do the last dose missions to get the acid lab for free and you should be good to go another way to make money for this dlc is to do the dr dre vip contract reason why i say that is because dr dre vip contract the missions are just brain numbingly easy like they're stupidly easy like i just pretty much turn off my brain when i do these missions there are about nine or ten missions to do for this but honestly it only takes about an hour and a half to complete this contract and like i said it's a million dollars every hour and a half for two hours and like i said these missions are really 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 easy and it's a million dollars you know a million dollars in the span of an hour and a half that's that's pretty good investment so i would say just do at least one of these a day before the dlc comes out now this one is an honorable mention but i do believe this is overlooked by a lot of players I would say to check your saves. When's the last time you went to your arcade or your agency to check your saves? You probably don't remember. So as you can see right here, I'm entering my arcade to collect the money from the safe. And when the safe is full, it pays out $100,000. And same with the agency. When you go to your agency to collect your money, uh, the max amount of money it holds is $280,000. I, I have a little bit below that, but I decided just to get the money just to get it for the purpose of this video. But yeah, just be sure to check your saves. A lot of people overlook that, but a lot of people probably have full safes and they don't even notice. So yeah, just be sure to check your safes and see if they are full. And if they are full, just take the money. Now, last on this list would definitely have to be Kyle Perico. This is pretty obvious. This has been the best way to make money at Grand Auto Online legitimately for the past two years. This heist is super, super easy. If you guys don't know how to do the heist, just look up a guide on YouTube. It's just super, super easy. In the span of 40 minutes to an hour, you're making on average $1.5 million. Now, unfortunately, you can't do this every hour since the nerf. You gotta wait three hours to do it solo. And with other players, you have to wait 40 minutes to do it. But this is the best way to make money in GTA Online. But if you combine everything else I'd stated in this video, plus Kyle Perico, you should have a lot of money left over for this DLC. So while your passive businesses are producing product, I recommend doing Kyle Perico. And then when Kyle Perico is cooling down, either sell your businesses or do some auto shop contracts or do the agency contracts. Honestly, I don't think anything in this game tops Kyle Perico when it comes to making money. Now, if you guys did go and enjoy this video, like and a comment will be appreciated. Subscribe to the channel. And yeah, with all that out of the way, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, everybody.